Come and check out what I have ordered and purchased so far for the 2021 garden. What's up YouTube and welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray and thank you so much for joining me today here in the garden. And as you just heard today, I thought we would just go through some of the things that I have ordered and purchased for the spring 2021 garden. Um, now is the perfect time to start thinking about what you want to grow and start getting those seed orders if you haven't already done it. So I thought I would go through everything that I've got thus far and show you uh, because the spring 2021 garden is well underway here for me in central Arkansas zone 7B or 8A. Depending on where you look, uh, what website source you look at, we are right on the cusp right here where I live in central Arkansas between 7B and 8A. The similarities are just overwhelming for those two zones. They might as well be the same thing for the most part. So it is, we are extended growing season, pretty warm here. And so it's time to start thinking about that. And if you've seen my video, you know that I've already got onions planted for the year. Um, I just put in some sweet pea seeds. So hopefully we'll have a good crop of sweet peas this year because they're a cool season crop. So those have already gone in the garden. Um, and so now we're just gonna sit down and go through everything I've ordered and purchased and where I got it from so you can see how the 2021 garden is already shaping up here at Horticulture Geek. Here we go. All right, so here is everything right now. So let's sit down and go through all this stuff. All right, so here we are set up inside where it's nice and cozy. And let's go through everything on the table and show you what I'm planning to use this year in the garden. So first up, let's go through my seed orders. Um, and I believe these seeds I may have shown at the end of the last season because they I've actually had these for a while, but they were purchased for this growing season. So we've got, um, and these are from Johnny's Seed Company. Um, and now Johnny's is good if you um, are, are new to seeds because they don't do frilly pictures and fun graphics on them. But what they do is give you very detailed information on the back as to how to plant this seed and care for the seed as it germinates and grows. So Johnny's is a good company, especially for beginners, so that you can read right on the pack how to grow and get these seeds to produce to harvest. Um, so this year I have chives. And I have giant dahlia-shaped zinnias. I've got um, Veneri's Giant Mix Zinnia. I've got some Swiss chard. And some hybrid Brussels sprouts. So we'll see how that goes. I've actually got to get the Brussels sprouts planted ASAP because I'm actually losing my window for those. Um, and then I also found or ordered in some hummingbird seed garden mixes. So we might have um, some fun areas to do some of that in. Next up, this is my order from Baker Creek or rareseeds.com. So let's see what we got from Baker Creek. So this year we have Cosmos Seashell. We have Lettuce. This is a free seed packet. We have the Taki's Choice Mix Zinnia. We have the Double Dutch Rose Cosmos, and this doesn't have a picture of a Cosmos on it, but you can remember from this package what a Cosmos flower looks like. So this is just another Cosmos called Double Dutch Rose. Um, this is another Cosmos called Fizzy Rose Picote. Here we have the Cupid Mix Zinnias. 
And finally, we have the Japanese Cosmos, the Japanese Kiro Cosmos. So that is my Baker Creek order. I kept my Baker Creek order very small this year. I kept my seed order in general pretty small. Um, because as you know, if I'm watching previous videos, if you have followed along, um, I, I do a lot of direct in-ground seed starting, not a lot of indoor seed starting because I just don't have the room for it. All right, next up is my Eden Brothers seed order. So fresh out of the package for you guys. We have the Dwarf Thumbelina Zinnias. And I have several packages of those. I got the Lemon Queen Sunflower. I have the um, another Thumbelina Zinnia. Um, I'm excited about this next one. I got some Russell Mix Lupin Seeds. So hopefully we can get some Lupins to grow here in the garden. Wouldn't those be beautiful? Um, here's another Dahlia-shaped uh, Dahlia Zinnia Seed. And finally, I got the Sunflower Skyscraper. So these get really, really tall, and I thought those would be fun. All right, so that is my seed order um, for the 2021 garden. So now let's jump into some other things. So I also, from Sam's Club, now if you have not been to your Sam's Club lately, if you have a membership, now is the time. They've got all their bulbs and stuff out. They go quickly. So I've already went and picked up my stuff. So from Sam's, I picked up a bag of mixed dahlias. And as you can see, there are 15 tubers. They say bulbs, but there are 15 dahlia tubers in this bag. Um, and they will be just what the picture shows. So there'll be some red ones, some yellow ones, some purple ones. It's just a mixed bag. All right, so next up from Sam's is my gladiolas. Um, and this year, um, I got a bag of the bigger bulbs, and there are 75 bulbs in this. And these bulbs are all larger bulbs, good size bulbs. They also sell a bag of 90 gladiolas, but they're smaller bulbs. So you, you have a choice there. Um, so that's really good. I liked that. I picked up two bags of my caladium mix. So I get my caladiums in my shade garden. So I've got two bags of those. Then I also picked up, there are 10 begonias here. Look at how pretty those are gonna be. So I'm excited about these. And these are pendula cascade begonias, if you can see that. So 10 tubers of that from Sam's. I also decided I wanted um, a, some different clematis in the garden. So they had a four plant box set of the Rogue Cardinal Clematis. So I picked that up at Sam's Club. And then finally from Sam's Club, um, I decided I wanted to try some blackberries, get them in the garden. So I picked up two thornless blackberry plants to put out in the garden so we can start harvesting our own blackberries. So again, all these bulbs, tubers, and plants came from Sam's. Now, um, if you don't have a Sam's Club in your area, I'm sorry, maybe you try your other, like Costco's or whatever you have to see what they carry. Um, and obviously, regionally, Sam's Clubs aren't necessarily gonna have the same thing. So again, me here in Central Arkansas Zone 7B 8A, our Sam's Clubs are already rolling these products out. If you're in Michigan or Canada, you may not have these in your stores yet, but here's what I would recommend is staying on top of it and checking your stores regularly, almost weekly, because when these things come out, because they're so well-priced, they're going to go quickly um, because each store only gets a limited stock of different things, and once they're gone, they're gone. So that's my tip. Um, if you want to do some bulk bulbs and flower planting or good prices on blueberries, blackberries, kiwis, anything, they have lots of varieties there, get to your Sam's Club and start checking to see if they have it. All right, I just did a little shuffle and got my next box over here close. 
And this box is from Gardner's Supply. Um, so if you have never been on the Gardner Supply website, get on there and look at there, see what you can find. Um, they have lots of interesting things, um, lots of good supplies and materials. So from them, this is not a plant, but I'm super excited about it because I desperately needed these. I got some new mason bee or carpenter bee or solitary bees. Um, they're typically mason bees is what we call them in this area or carpenter bees. Um, I picked up a case of their nesting tubes so that I can put fresh nesting tubes into my insect hotel. So now is a perfect time to think about that as well. Um, I like to say, make sure your garden pantry is stocked for the year. So just like if you're getting geared up for a big meal for a holiday or something like that, you've got to make sure your pantry stocked. You've got to have all your ingredients. Now is the time to stock your garden pantry. So make sure you have the things that you don't necessarily think of all the time, but the things you're going to want and need. Get them in, get them situated so that as you need them, you can get them. So whether it's stuff like this for insect hotels, whether it's your fertilizers, insecticides, fungicides, um, anything like that, make sure your garden pantry is stocked. Now is the time because once the flower season hits, once the growing season hits, you're gonna wanna just be able to pick up your supplies and roll through the garden. So these are handy, I'm excited. Um, and now if you're not familiar with mason bees, on my little tangent there, um, mason bees are incredible pollinators. They do double the pollination work or more, I don't know the exact statistics, that a honeybee will do. Um, so it's very important for me personally, um, and I would encourage you to try to find a way to attract mason bees to your garden. Um, they won't bother you. You see the big old bumbly bumblebees buzzing around. They just kind of stick to themselves unless they're threatened. Give them a place to nest, to lay their eggs, and they will stay in your garden and keep your plants and flowers nice and healthy. All right. And then my last box here is also from Gardener Supply. And I am super excited about this. So this is my new Grow Ease Seed Starter Kit. Um, this kit comes highly, highly, highly recommended from Laura over at Garden Answer. I mean, there are several other big YouTubers that use these as well. Um, people swear by these trays. Um, and so I thought, why fight it? If it's that good, let's give it a shot. And what is perfect about this seed tray is that it is a self-watering seed tray. So I got the seed mat there, the seed tray. Also went ahead and picked up a bag of their seed starting mix from Gardener Supply just to give it a try. Um, seed starting mix is usually pretty readily available, um, but I figured I'd just give their brand a try and just test it out, see how it does. I also picked up some plant stakes, some plant tags, and a second seed starting mat. So now I have my supplies in hand. Um, to start my seed starting. Now, with these seed trays, I'm very excited about these seed starting trays. Um, and I'm gonna do a separate video explaining how these work and actually starting some seeds in them. So I want you to come back. So if you haven't hit that subscription bell yet or that notification bell, make sure you do that so that you can come back and see the Gardener Supply seed starting um, kit in action. I promise you, you're gonna love it. You will see this used at other YouTube gardening channels as well. Uh, but that is gonna take care of it for me today. Um, this is what I have thus far. Um, and I actually have ordered a few more things, but they won't be here for a few more weeks until it gets a little bit more closer to time um, to, for them to be appropriately planted. And then as you know, a gardener is never done. I will be buying lots more things as the season progresses. But I thought this would be just a fun video to kind of kick off this growing season and show you 
what I've picked up thus far, what seeds I've ordered, where I got everything from, and maybe that will help you if you're just now starting out um, to see kind of where I pick up things. So Gardner Supply, Eden Brothers, Gilbert H. Wild and Sons, Baker Creek, which is rareseeds.com, um, Holland Bulb Farms, I ordered all my tulips from them. So there are lots of good companies out there that you can order from. Um, and Sam's Club, obviously, Costco's, all of those big box stores are gearing up for the season and it's time to start putting your thinking caps on and planning for this year's garden. I hope you've enjoyed this video I and mean, I hope you'll come back and check out more from the channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. I would love to hear from you. And you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Same name as this YouTube channel, Horticulture Geek. Real easy to find. Um, and we will hope to see you at any of our social media platforms. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.